Hi and welcome to SCW here on YouTube.com. Thank you for choosing the channel and choosing the video. Please subscribe right now. Leave any comments in the comment section, please, or like and share the video as well. Well, Friday the 1st of April in the Curtis Carwell Center is ROH's return, Supercard of Honor 2022. Gonna give my predictions for the show for now on this video. At the time of recording, there are five matches announced. So let's go quickly through those so you know what's gonna be coming up. We've got the Briscoes going against FTR for the ROH. World Tag Team Championships. We've got Jay Lethal against Lee Moriarty. We have Alex Zane against Swerve Strickland. We have the Ring of Honor Pure Rules Championship of Josh Woods against Wheeler Utah. And last but not least, we've got the main event, the undisputed ROH World Championship match of Jonathan Gresham against Bandido. At the time of recording, there currently isn't an ROH Women's World Championship match. I'm sure that will change between now and, of course, April 1st. And if that is announced, I will do a quick upload of that match announcement and a quick prediction for you as well. So let's kick things off then by talking about them boys against the top guys. Uh, this should be a lot of fun. Of course, this is a dream match technically if you want as well. Uh, them boys, Briscoe's have been a part of Ring of Honor since the very, very beginning. Uh, of course, it makes it very fitting they're part of this you know, reincarnation. Tony Khan having Ring of Honor for the very first time on this show. But they're going against FTR, a team that confronted them at final battle at the end of last year. So it's good to see these teams mixing up. But there is a bit of suggestion that the Briscoes aren't going to be signed by Tony Khan to AEW or Ring of Honor. So for me, looking at this, even though this should be a lot of fun as a tag team match to see, I can see FTR adding another company's championship to their repertoire. The former WWE, AEW, AAA tag team champions, I expect them to become the brand new Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. Next, let's talk about Jay Lethal against Lee Moriarty. Of course, you know, Jay Lethal is arguably the face of Ring of Honor for many, many years. He was the loyal guy to this company, been a multi-time world champion, and he's against a young upstart here in Lee Moriarty. A great opportunity for him to get over in this match, and what better way to get over than pick up a big victory. Of course, Lee Moriarty has been also teased as a potential name that could be a big deal in the future of All Elite Wrestling. Why not make him one of the faces of the brand new Ring of Honor. Certainly make a lot of sense if you were to ask me. But one thing is for sure, I think they're gonna try and get Moriarty over in a losing effort to Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal has a great win-loss record in AEW at this point. Coming back in here to Ring of Honor, I think makes a lot of sense. Perhaps Jay Lethal could even perhaps be a part of Ring of Honor full time going forward because for me, a lot of his win-losses in AEW are on dark and dark elevation. When I see him on Dynamite and Rampage, he seems to be losing. So for me personally, I'm okay if Lethal was to be a part of Ring of Honor full time here. For me, I'm going to have Jay Lethal as the victor. Lee Moriarty to have a great showing, uh, but will be on a losing effort. Same could be the same for the next match, actually, with Alex Zane against Swerve Strickland. I mean, Strickland did lose this past week on Rampage to Ricky Stark, so, well, he's not going to be undefeated going into this under the AEW banner, but certainly I could see Swerve picking up the victory, and Zane, for me, is an unbelievable talent. I actually wouldn't mind seeing him win the match, but I do think Swerve Strickland will be the one picking up the W, and I do see both Zayn and Strickland having great futures going forward. I hope Zayn is going to be part of Ring of Honor, and certainly Swerve will probably be doing his thing, Swerve's house, in AEW more often than Ring of Honor, if I had to predict at this stage. One match that's very difficult to predict for me is the RH Pure Rules Championship because Josh Woods has been performing on Dark and Dark Elevation. And of course, Wheelie Utah, of course, has been in Ring of Honor previously, was in the Pure Rules Tournament back in 2020. But of course, has been signed to AEW and has been aligned with the best friends of recent times, but has also been teased about leaving that group and joining up with Brian Danielson. John Moxley and William Regal. What better way to impress than to win the Ring of Honor Pure Rules Championship? Certainly would be a worthy contender, a great in-ring performer. Would be everything that represents that Pure Rules Championship. But for those that are regular viewers of Ring of Honor, know that Josh Woods has done great work as well in the Pure Rules environment. Of course, was the one to actually defeat Jonathan Gresham to win that belt to begin with. So for me, this is the hardest one to predict, but uh, I do think we could be seeing some new champions on this show. For me personally, I'm gonna say Willy Yuta because he's higher in the current pecking order when it comes to you know, both being on involved with AEW television. So for me, I'll go with Utah. I think it would be impressive for him going forward. And I think it could play more into that storyline with Danielson, Moxie, and with the best friends. Because I'm a little bit, have a little bit of suspect that we could see Brian Danielson, John Moxie, and William Regal actually show up 
on this show. I wouldn't be surprised if that was to happen as well. Perhaps if he was to win the championship, it could even be a great spot to invite him into that group. Last but not least, then, let's talk about the undisputed ROH World Championship. We've got Jonathan Gresham against Bandido. Bandido was the world champion, but of course, he was out of final battle due to COVID, was meant to take on Jonathan Gresham. Gresham then won the interim ROH World Championship. He won that in a match there against Jay Lethal and has since been defending it, going around multiple different promotions, including Impact Wrestling. For me, it's been a lot of fun to watch, but Bandido is back here, so let's see. We're going to get this match. I think it's going to be a really fun match to watch these two going against one another. To give a prediction for you, for me, it's got to be the main man, Jonathan Gresham, to pick up the W. I can see Bandido potentially being in AEW. I want to see him aligned with Andrade Elidolo. I think that would be a much better fit. All the other teams, Butcher and Blade and, and Private Party, are letting him down at this point. So I think Bandido should be aligned with Andrade. It's just a personal preference. But uh, to give a prediction anyway, I think Jonathan Gresham will walk away with a victory and we'll walk away the undisputed ROH world champion. But that's my predictions for the show. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. I look forward to interacting with you. I'm actually considering doing as well how I would book this show because I've got a couple of fantasy booking ideas that I'd like to see play out. So if you'd like to see that, then of course, let me know in the comments below as well. And I'll drop that video on Tuesday if it's something that you're interested in. But thanks for watching anyway. Make sure to check out other videos on the channel right now, including these ones on the side of your screen. Enjoy Supercard of Honor. It's going to be interesting to see the direction of Ring of Honor going forward now that Tony Khan has got the pencil and is leading the company. Uh, we're very interested to see what will happen. Will we see some regular faces turning back up? Will they be sticking around or will they be leaving? Will we get a new wave for Ring of Honor going forward? Perhaps people from Dark, Dark Elevation, or perhaps even more regular faces that we're used to seeing on AEW Dynamite and Rampage making appearances. It's going to be very, very interesting to see and a show I'm looking forward to. But that's all from me anyway. Thank you for watching. Have yourselves a good one. I'll see you next time here on SCW. All the best.